So about two months ago, DoorDash made a blunder which really rubbed Australians the wrong way. And this is not a video for the Dashes or the Dashes complaining. This blunder affected DoorDash's customers in Australia and went out to all their customers that were ordering food. It really rubbed them so far wrong that the internet picked up on it and r slash Australia, it, it went ballistic. It had over 5,000 upvotes on it and over a thousand people chiming in with their thoughts on the matter. So, what did DoorDash do wrong that's, that really, really, really rubbed Australians the wrong way? And it, what it was, it was just a, a classic case of DoorDash's customer app not segregating out between the different countries and sending the same messaging across to uh, America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and we got a message coming through for each time you do an order, a message coming through that works well for America, does not work at all for Australians. And that message here, uh, posted up by a succulent Chinese MILF on Reddit, uh, which is a, a take, of course, of succulent Chinese meal, one of the greatest, greatest videos in Australian history ever. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? And the post says, DoorDash reckons 80% of people tip. That can't be true, can it? And it has a screenshot of the message, of the notification message that went out uh, to Australians who order, saying, thank your next Dasher with a tip. Did you know that over 80% of orders included a tip for Dashers? 100% of these tips go directly to your Dasher. In Australia, that is not the case at all. And when Australians started getting this notification through, it, it, it really stirred us up. This was not a good, this is a marketing blunder that occurred. So having a look through some of these, uh, uh, some of the comments on the thread, and you know, they're getting thousands of upvotes here. Uh, this is not Dasher groups on uh, Reddit. This is, this is r slash Australia. Uh, this is one of the big groups, and this is their customers responding, not so much drivers chiming in here. So this is a general Australian public's perception on DoorDash. Once this got out, uh, first one we'll have a look at uh, is from this Phantom Fortress. He said, I would be shocked if it's 80% of Australian orders. It's probably 80% of all orders globally, which would include countries where it is normal. And I think that's what uh, occurred here. So that, that message makes sense to America, does not make sense to Australia. And if you look at uh, American DoorDash orders, yeah, over 80% for sure would be getting tips. In Australia, I would be surprised if 1% are getting tips added on. Uh, they have enabled, just a quick update for those who have been tuned out for a bit, they have enabled tips in Australia uh, about, I think about three or four months ago. They've switched that on. Um, so DoorDash drivers in Australia can get tips, but currently it's only set to post delivery. So, um, or post order is probably a better term for it. So once you place an order through, uh, then a little option will appear saying to add tip to the driver. Then after the delivery, you can add tip to the driver. But before you place the order, you cannot add a tip on, you cannot load up a tip uh, like is common practice in America. Uh, now, uh, uh, Salab, <laughs> oh, Reddit, Reddit names, uh, Saliba uh, said, or they're just lying to make more profit. And he's added an edit through. Uh, Even if the tip goes to the driver, tipping culture means companies can pay less because you're also paid in tips. So tips just end up reducing wages and increasing company profits. They don't benefit the actual workers in the long run. And guys, this is not from drivers. This is coming from the Australian public here. Uh, they do not like tips. Australians do not like tipping culture at all. So this is, that one got a, a 1,800 upvotes on it. So a lot of people are agreeing with that. Next comment that came through on it was, uh, and, and guys, uh, when I say next comment, like there is a, a thousand comments on this. I'm just gonna have, gonna have a look at a couple of key select ones when I scrolled through. Uh, most of the comments were saying F DoorDash, F tip culture, uh, F tips. Uh, and so, you know, a couple of C bombs in there and stuff like that. Uh, people were riled up on this one. Uh, being told or implied that the majority over in Australia tip when they do not tip is uh, a tactic that Australians have perceived as trying to be guilted into tipping. And we, we've called it out. We said, no, that's not the case. So huge blunder from DoorDash. 
Uh, so Kid Crit said, they're just trying to get people to tip by making them think everyone else does. I can't believe I have to say this, but do not effing tip. We are not America. And yeah, uh, 1,200 people have agreed with that. So once again, tip culture, not a thing over here. And implying or pushing uh, an expectation to tip, which is what DoorDash has done on this message going out to everyone placing orders through. It has really rubbed us the wrong way here. Um, then we've got Easy Adventurer uh, coming in saying, definitely some mental gymnastics BS to trick people into feeling guilty about not tipping. F this, F them, F tipping, un-Australian, all in capitals. See that cap over there? Okay. Get your hand off my penis! Once again, uh, Australians don't like tipping. Um, our kind of concept is that uh, even if you are contracting or if you're on wages, um, that companies should be paying enough, whether it be through contracts or through wages, uh, themselves to support the worker in their role, not to rely on the customers having to pay more in tips to make up for a company underpaying uh, workers. Uh, it's, it's really, really frowned upon over in Australia. It's disgusting, to be honest. Grand Delinquent AU, bit of a long one here. So he said, I was going to say they don't make enough money, which uh, is true of the accounting measures, taking into account the stock the employees and management get given. But on a cash flow basis, they do seem to make a couple of hundred US millions of dollars. That's not that much given the scale of their operations. It strikes me as a brutally competitive business to be in and frankly something that probably shouldn't exist. A function of piles and piles of Saudi money versus SoftBank trying to find a home. The thing that doesn't seem right to me is why the Australian government has sacrificed the dignity of a livable wage in this country for cheap food delivery. De delivery. Dignity is less than mild convenience. So if people want a delivery, they should have to pay the true cost with the livable wage constraint. Otherwise, we build a society dependent on an underclass of devalued or dehumanized labor. Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. And that, that comes in pretty pretty slow at the end. And I, I would agree with that. I, I don't like the concept of dehumanized or uh, devalued labor in Australia. I don't like that at all. I feel that you know DoorDash and Uber Eats, Menulog, and all the other guys in the space uh, should have their contracts up high enough to be able to support a, a, a good wage or a you know a livable wage in the country. Um, if you're contracting, you should be able to make more than what a minimum wage should be. I'm not saying pay per hour. I'm saying the contract rates should be able to equate up higher. Uh, unfortunately. We're seeing a lot of cases where it's just not right now, which is not exciting. So I'd like to see, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see pay come through a lot better. And if that cost does need to move on uh, to the, the customer, to the merchants, to, well, in the day, it always comes back to the customers because merchants just raise their prices. But if it comes down to that and that business model is not sustainable in Australia, and it doesn't work in Australia, then the model needs to be reevaluated and tweaked, and they need to figure out can it work in Australia. Um, and if it can't, well, you know, so be it. But the last thing we want is people on slave slave labour income in Australia. We want people to, you know, it's a land of prosperity. It's now it's in our national anthem, you know, um, you know, talking about we are a prosperous country. We can't build prosperity uh, in 2023 off of the backs of slave labor. It, it, it's it's not right. And uh, who we got? We got uh, Bloody Dingbat. Uh, I effing hate these tech companies. This is literally a copy paste of Uber. And guess what? Somehow the founders are multi-millionaires. While they pay drivers peanuts and s suck the living daylights out of restaurants with their margins. Stop using these apps, people. Please. They have over 200 upvotes on it. So once again, guys, this is not drivers complaining. This is customers angry at gig delivery companies uh, for for this kind of behaviour, and it all triggered off uh, bringing tipping culture across to Australia. So while I have said in the past, I said it would be great to get tips from DoorDap, uh, from DoorDap, uh, Door, DoorDap. 
Um, be great to get uh, tips uh, from DoorDash. I've said it before in videos, but for exceptional service and going above and beyond, not as an expectation to, to bring up basic earnings. Um, I'd like to get paid tips for doing a really great job on top of a livable income. I'm not saying wage highs, I'm saying income specifically because I like the contracting model. I just want the contracts to be able to sustain a livable income. Uh, so yeah, that was um, that was that was the, the highlights of the Reddit comments. What what do you guys think? Tipping culture in Australia. Do you think tipping culture should move across to Australia? We've seen what tipping culture's done to America. Um, I, I I don't even know how to say it. Um, I would be culture shocked going to America, uh, expecting to pay tips on every single service in Australia. The the focus right now is on that businesses should be paying enough to workers from the business and not relying on customers to pay extra on top to support a livable income. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I've gone through Reddit. This one went fiery hot. Um, I think DoorDash has corrected that message in going out. That would have been a PR hellscape. But if you're still seeing that message, guys, if you're placing DoorDash orders yourself as a customer and you're getting uh, prompted post-delivery uh, saying 80% of uh, people tip, leave it down below in the comments. What do you guys think? Should, should we have tips in Australia? Should we not have tips in Australia? How should tips be treated in Australia? It, it's clear that uh, it has really rubbed the Australian public the wrong way. So, yeah. Leave your thoughts, guys. Um, that's all for this one. Reddit has spoken on it. Um, over 5,000 uh, 5, upvotes on that one. Over 1,000 people commenting on it. Um, it just really, really fired up. And I waited for the aftermath. I waited for it to all to settle. So everyone's had their say before I did a video on it. But leave your thoughts in the comments. How should Australians perceive tips? Should it be expected? Should it not be expected? How, how should you tip in Australia? Or should you even tip? Should tipping just not be a thing and should DoorDash and the, the other delivery companies be upping the service fees even further? Just as an idea, there's a 10% service fee, which they've sneakily in the background up to a 12% recently, um, but where we haven't seen driver pay go up, have we? No, no, we haven't. Um, so they're increasing service fees, but um, we're seeing driver fees get reduced further and further. But yeah, all food for thought, guys down below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts around tipping in Australia. Hi mate, have you subscribed to Chris yet? Of course I did. The subscribe button is just down there. Did you know he's trying to get to 10,000 subscribers? 10,000? That's five times the size of Cooper Petey. Cooper Petey, mate. Cooper bloody Petey, mate. Cooper Petey, mate. Cooper bloody Petey. He's got some more videos over there, too. Over where? Just over there. Over here? Yeah, mate, that's them. Cheers, mate. I'll keep watching because there's always something new. And I'll see you in the next one. Here are your legends.